Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Zach Pascarello. I'm a certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor, and I own Harrisburg Bookkeeping. Wanted to make a quick video. Well, it might not be so quick. I've got a lot to cover. I want to talk about how to match bank deposits to your invoices. I see this all the time in QuickBooks. If you're using QuickBooks to generate receipts and invoices, that's great. Help you stay organized help you manage your accounts receivable. But you want to make sure you're able to reconcile your checking account at the end of the month. You want to make sure all of your bank deposits line up. So you can deposit, obviously, cash, check. However you make your bank deposits, you can match that to the invoices and the sales receipts you create in QuickBooks. So it's going to require that you have your bank feed connected to your QuickBooks account and I will show you what that looks like. So we'll jump right into it. Get rid of this fancy little graphic. QuickBooks tutorial, how to match bank deposits to invoices. Hope this is helpful. All right, make my face a lot smaller. Let's see. That way you guys can see what I'm doing here. This is my demonstration QuickBooks account. It's what I use for all my videos. No real information in here except for what I put in. All right, so let's get started with the QuickBooks account. So first of all, you're going to want to create invoices and create sales receipts in your QuickBooks. I'm not going to show you how to do that too much in depth right now. I've got other videos on my YouTube channel about how to create invoices and create sales receipts. But the one thing I will show you is so on your QuickBooks account here, QuickBooks Online on the left hand side, go to sales, you go to all sales. I've seen this happen a few times. Okay, so let's let's filter out anything that is open. No, we won't do that. All right, we'll just find invoices with an outstanding balance. Okay, so here we have March 23rd. Invoice has not been paid yet, according to this QuickBooks account. So here's an invoice. So the difference between an invoice and a sales receipt, invoice you create an invoice whenever you're expected to be paid in the future. You create a sales receipt if you've already been paid. So for this example, the invoice created on March 23rd, due in 30 days. $148, really straightforward invoice. Pretty standard stuff with that. So there's an invoice. And then here we have a sales receipt. Sales receipt for May 1st, $593.72. So I generated this on May 1st because somebody paid me $593. So different from an invoice, it's called a sales receipt. And then I created two more sales receipts just for this example here. June 10th, I do wanna draw your attention to this option right here. This is very important. Deposit to. So whenever you're creating a sales receipt, technically, you're going to want to deposit a little asterisk next to technically. Let me just let me just explain this. So undeposited funds. So if I give you a $1,000, a $1,000 check right now, and you receive that payment, it's not technically in your checking account. So you would want to deposit it to undeposited funds. Just be careful. So I, I wanted to say the asterisk because if you're if you're going to deposit this check into your checking account today, tomorrow, at the end of the week, it's probably not that big of a deal. You can probably get away with just skipping this step and just depositing it into your checking account virtually in QuickBooks. So keep in mind all of this, all of these actions in QuickBooks are not affecting your real checking account. They're just affecting your virtual checking account, your bookkeeping in QuickBooks. So if you deposit this into your Wells Fargo account, you still have to go to the bank. You still have to take a picture of it on your phone. You still have to deposit the check that way. 
So you have two options. The the 100% correct way to do it would be to first deposit the check into the undeposited funds and then transfer it from undeposited funds into your checking account. But that's an extra step, just more room for error. If you're gonna deposit the check anyway, if you're gonna reconcile your accounts anyway, it's not that big of a deal. So we'll just keep that deposit to Wells Fargo checking account. Now I, I created a second sales receipt on the same day and I'm gonna show you how this works. This one, same date, this one will be deposited to undeposited funds. Now, the important thing here, so we'll go to our chart of accounts and we can look at our checking account. So the important part here is that these checks have not cleared. So we have virtually deposited all of these things into our checking account, but we have not matched this to an actual check or money deposited into our checking account. So these checks have not cleared. So if you look here, I don't know if you guys know about this, but this is an option to clear your check, reconcile the, the, the transaction or leave it blank uncleared. So at the end of the month, when you go to look at any checks that have not cleared, you can see if there's no C or no R, it is not cleared. Okay, so I wanted to I wanted to show you where you can see in your chart of accounts whether or not these checks have cleared or not. And we're about to clear them right now. So we're going to go to our bank feed. We're going to match our banking transactions with what we've done in QuickBooks. So this is a multi-step process. So you create the invoice in QuickBooks or you create the sales receipt in QuickBooks. And then if you have your bank feed connected, this is where we can have all these deposits matched and confirmed, not reconciled, but matched and confirmed and cleared in your chart of accounts. So I showed you those four, those three sales receipts and those that one invoice. So typically what I see people doing, so it, you, you can do an extra step or you can skip it. So in the invoice, you have the option of clicking receive payment. And then so once you've received that payment, you can receive payment, pretty self-explanatory, in QuickBooks. Or you can skip that step. Just go to your bank feed here and you can see. So I created an invoice March 23rd for $148.26. And then I deposited that check on April 1st. So it hit my bank account. So I can go here. You can see the little green box, one record found. Just be careful. You want to make sure all the information lines up. Find match. You can check out invoice number 19, March 23rd, $148. And you can see here on April 1st, I deposited $148.26 into my checking account. So I'm gonna go ahead and match that bank deposit from my bank feed directly to that invoice. Now I'll show you once we have matched that invoice, you can see here it's deposited. So you don't have to do that extra step of doing receive payment and then match it to the bank feed. It's already deposited. And if you made a mistake, QuickBooks can be very forgiving sometimes. All you have to do is go to the categorize section, find that transaction, click undo. And then you can go back to your invoices and you can see it's not been deposited. No payment received. It's not deposited. So there's a, an easy way to undo it. Now we'll go ahead and match that. That's an invoice. Sales receipt, pretty simple. May 1st, somebody handed me $593.72. And then on May 5th, I deposit it into my checking account. So I match that to that. Now we can go to our chart of accounts and we can see here See that C, that magical, magical C. That check has cleared on May 1st. That check has cleared. And then April 1st, again, that check has cleared. If you want to edit that transaction, you can pull it up. 
and you can see here it matching that bank transaction to the invoice created a received payment. You can see here one online bank matches invoice number 19. Okay, so those two checks have cleared on our on our check register. Now we'll go back to our online banking feed. Now it gets a little bit more complex. So it's more times than not, it's going to be mul depositing multiple checks, depositing multiple cash payments. So this is where you as the business owner need to stay organized and need to communicate effectively with your admin, your office administrator, office manager, bookkeeper, accountant, whoever's doing your books for you, whoever's managing your QuickBooks for you, you need to communicate effectively. Take accurate notes when you go to the bank. Make sure you're recording the invoice number. Make sure you're recording the payee. So here's, what's, here's what happens whenever we have a deposit that's not, QuickBooks is not recognizing that it's matched to anything because there's no one for one transaction. But what we can do is we can click this find match button because we know that we created an invoice or a sales receipt for these transactions. So we'll go ahead and find a match so QuickBooks automatically pulls up all of the sales receipts from this date to that date that have not been matched or are not cleared. So these are all uncleared sales receipts. And what's even cooler, QuickBooks has an option for suggested matches. So if it's a perfect penny for penny match, it should give you a recommendation to sales receipts match. Perfect, penny for penny. Now, I don't know if you remember this, but one of these sales receipts was deposited to undeposited funds. So we will not save this just yet. We'll take a look at what I mean by undeposited funds. So this is very important. I recommend everybody go home right now, open up your phone, your computer, and check your chart of accounts and see if you have any money in your undeposited funds chart of account. You shouldn't, unless you plan on going to the bank today or tomorrow. You should not have undeposited funds from more than a week ago, at most a month. I would recommend going to the bank more often than monthly. But because we received this payment on June 10th, we have not deposited it to our bank account yet. So it's sitting here in this this limbo, this chart of accounts, undeposited funds. Be very careful with this account. Do not forget money that's left in this account virtually. So that's in your undeposited funds. Now, all we need to do is find the match from your bank feed. Make sure it lines up, make sure it's accurate. Save it. Now, go back to chart of accounts. And we can go ahead and check that undeposited funds. And we didn't have to do anything other than matching our bank feed to our sales receipts. And it was automatically deposited from undeposited funds into our checking account. So you can see here we increased it and then we decreased it. So I know that I talked about a bunch of different things, sales receipts, invoices, undeposited funds, matching bank feed transactions, receiving payments. It's all pretty complicated. If you've never worked with QuickBooks or never had experience with bookkeeping or accounting, but as long as you stay organized, as long as you take accurate notes and keep your money where it needs to go, you'll be okay. If you don't have QuickBooks already, I'd encourage you to sign up, reach out to me. I can get you 50% discount for the life of your subscription. The prices are going up in July 15th, but if you sign up now before then, you can get locked in with a 50% discount for the rest of the subscription. So if you need any help with your QuickBooks, if you've never used QuickBooks, if you're a brand new business owner, if you've been in business for 20 years, doesn't matter, we can help. I partner with the CPA, we do tax consulting, tax strategy, we file your annual taxes, we can help you out with your quarterly taxes, we can do your billing, your invoicing, 
Obviously, categorize your transactions, reconcile your accounts, whatever you need when it comes to bookkeeping and accounting, we can help you out. So I hope this video was helpful. I know it was really confusing. I got kind of confused halfway through just trying to keep everything organized and straight. So if you're having issues, check your undeposited funds, check your reconciliation, make sure everything matches, make sure all your checks are cleared. If you have any outstanding checks from weeks and months and years ago, look into that now before it's too late and just try to stay organized. And that is the video. So if you guys need any help, reach out. Love to work with you. Harrisburg Bookkeeping, check out my website, harrisburgbookkeeping.com. Check out my Facebook page, Harrisburg Bookkeeping. I post daily bookkeeping tips and just general business stuff. So that's the video. Hope, hopefully it was helpful. And I will talk to you all in the next one.